Okay guys, and today I'm back with a tutorial on how to embed a Twitter feed into blocks. So as you can see here, this is a sneak peek of the new website I'm designing for myself, uh, the Blocks Go website that will be up soon, hosted on free servers hopefully. And you see this is my latest videos will appear, all iframes, they will be integrated, the latest three videos I've made. And then down here I'm going to have my Twitter and Instagram feed. And uh, see, I'm going to teach you guys how to integrate this Twitter feed here, uh, like I've done. So, first of all, you want to go into, into your browser. Go onto this website called tweetwally.com. You're going to want to sign in with your Twitter account. And. Oh. There we go, like that. And that will take you back to the application. And as you can see here, I've got all my tweets in like a wall kind of thing. But what you want to do is come down here to find tweets. You can either do it from a hashtag, a Twitter user, uh, monitoring a Twitter user or keywords. And I see I've done my Twitter account there. Uh, but you guys can put in yours. And you come down to themes here. I've done choose my own color. So I've put in the actual same color as the background in my blocks website here. Uh, which is like the bottom here. So you get that hashtag, pop it in there. And then it's all this blue bit around the outside. That's what that fills in. I uh, kept everything else, else the same. And yeah. That's about it. I want to click on. See here in the top right, you get embed. You know, I want to copy that. As I'm going to do here, come into blocks. You then want to. You then get actually. Let's open, just do this easier. Let's open up a text edit document. New document. You then want to get this code here, copy it, and then paste it in. To text editing, so you get all of this unneeded stuff again, as we've done before. So you want to get rid of everything except the URL here. I just want to delete all of this, and then that's what you want to copy and paste into uh, the box into the iframe URL thing. I've already done that though, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, delete that text document, and yeah, and then I'm going to show you exactly how this, how what it looks like after you've exported it into blocks um, of course let's go let's have a look and see this is my latest videos this is what the page looks like with all fades in I'll give it a quick refresh so you can see that again see the thing fade in there's a delay and all that scroll down and see you get your Twitter feed here this isn't exactly like tall enough what I want it to be so I'm gonna qu quickly show you guys how to change that so you can change this by quickly going to here give it a height we're gonna, we're gonna height about 500 and then go to export Save, replace. Kind of. There we go. Go back in to this web page, and you should see a substantial change in the height. Possibly, it's quite slightly bigger, I think. Pretty sure it is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, I do realize this is this is slightly bigger, but of course, you have to play around a bit with it to make it exactly how you want it. But yeah, I just want to show you how to integrate a Twitter feed effectively into. Blocks and yeah, that's it for today's video and I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Bye bye.